So we're back here in the uh, Palacio Deportes de Carolina Marin in uh, Huelva and um, from uh, and US victory in uh, women's singles we turn our attention to men's singles and Lino Munoz from uh, Mexico up against uh, Kalle Koljonen from uh, Finland there is uh, a Finnish left-hander Both players um, know each other quite well, even though they haven't uh, any previous head-to-head -head records, um, as you will see shortly. But um, last um, season they played in the um, same club in the Danish uh, badminton league. You can see it's the uh, first meeting between these two players, at least in competition. So, Kali uh, and helping <laughs> the umpire keep track of the uh, toss of the coin and uh, decided to start on this uh, near side of uh, the court here as he won the coin toss. Um, I believe Lino Munoz uh, elected to serve. Both players uh, part of the uh, Tokyo Olympics. Leo you know, Munoz lost to uh, Kevin Corden and uh, Uncalon. Kevin Corden, who's uh, playing on the adjacent court in, uh, in a three game match against uh, Johan Kweekel from uh, the Netherlands. Kali Kolyunen. Beat uh, Luca Rava in uh, his group, but um, lost to Victor Axelsen and finished second in that group. So he might actually have been the second best player of the uh, Olympic Games. Here is the profile of uh, Lino Munoz, 30 years of age, from uh, Mexico City, ranked uh, 72 currently, but um, has been as high as uh, 65th on the world ranking. I think actually that's also the uh, maximum. Uh, ranking uh, of uh, Kali Koyunen, but uh, we'll see that when uh, we get to uh, his stats. He's uh, reached uh, six career finals, but uh, never won one uh, yet, uh, Lino Munoz. Here's the uh, Finnish left-hander, yeah, you can see there the uh, exact same highest ranking, so uh, that should uh, bode well for a um, an interesting match. 27 years of age, um, is uh, the Finn and uh, he became historical earlier this year when he won the first ever Finnish uh, individual medal at a European Championship that was in Kiev when he uh, won the bronze medal there and uh, lost uh, the semi-final to Victor Axelsen. He's a service judge, yes, but he done Larsen from Denmark and uh, is uh, Chiappini. So the day after Colin and uh, lost the uh, semi final to Axels, and Axels and actually uh, tested positive for COVID 19 and had to uh, withdraw from the final. So he was really, really close to uh, uh, exchanging that bronze medal for a silver had uh, the COVID test hit Axels and, uh, a day earlier on the road to that uh, semi final. In Kiev, he uh, beat Asmus Kimke from uh, Denmark as the uh, overall best result, but also uh, Toma Popov from uh, Bulgaria. Popov was withdrawn from this tournament. Play. So, the match is uh, on its way. And if you were with us earlier, you would have seen that uh, 
the left hand side there where Munoz just missed the uh, smash is um, well, it's difficult to control the sideways drift there's a bit of sideways drift right to left wait that's beautiful follow up from uh, Kali Koyan and it was um, patiently built up his um, career particularly on uh, net game attack um, footwork getting the body as fit as possible but he suffered a little bit here in uh, the pandemic he says there hasn't really been suitable tournaments for him either they've been uh, too lowly ranked or he doesn't get in because of his uh, ranking at uh, 69 that's a good rally it's gone long alongside with the oh what happened there outside the picture uh, Munoz was just uh, stretching his um, leg just like he rolled the ankle uh, wonder if something happened there on the uh, front court uh, backhand corner well placed smash so the silver two good deceptions in a row from uh, Koyunen. He's never been able to uh, pass the first round of the um, World Championship. This is his fourth World Championship in, uh, in 2017. In his debut, he lost to Sun Ho. Next year, to Tommy Sukiyatsu. And uh, last year, not last year, two years ago, on the last World Championships that's been staged in. Uh, and Basel in 19 he goes to uh, Kenta Nishimoto. Munoz on his hand also played in uh, Basel and uh, reached the second round. He lost to Kanta Tsunayama, so both lost to Japanese opposition on that occasion. That's well played. Good work by uh, Paul Gunnan, who's got a fantastic start here. Um, as I mentioned, probably played a number of um, training matches against each other when they played in um, the Danish Badminton League for the same club. So, perhaps that you know your opponent a little bit. That's called wide, but uh, a challenge from Lino Munoz, the first in uh, this match. to me so let's see what Hawkeye says here already missed a couple on that line have I not this time Excellent. Good placement by uh, Collier. Good marking. Munoz has uh, been practicing in Denmark up until uh, the Olympics. 
on the European Centre in uh, Holbeck, close to uh, Copenhagen. And it's used to practice in different uh, parts of Europe. It's going wide. On wide. Okay. I don't know, but I'm not sure that Collionen selected um, this near side to necessarily get a good start. Uh, but um, I could be wrong. This is getting his uh, attack down and um, eight points um, in the lead here at the mid game interval in the first game. 11 3 for Collinan. shot from uh, Munoz and um, one of the first times he goes across in his attack and I think he needs to do that a lot more otherwise it becomes way too uh, predictable as I mentioned six times runners up on the uh, challenge or series level but all of them in uh, American uh, continent. Carl Poggenen has uh, two victories in Hungary in 2015 and Norway 2016, and then five runners up all at international challenge and series level. So, the bronze medal at the uh, European Championships clearly the uh, best result of the uh, career for the left-hander. Good shot. Excellent reverse slice from uh, Conan. In. well played. Excellent um, rally by um, Kali Koljonen. Sets it up with the uh, tight spinning net shot and uh, good follow up uh, after the uh, attack.
dominant performance here in the uh, first game. some chances in, in this rally here but uh, it's not the strongest uh, players in uh, the attacking part of uh, the game he's known uh, men's singles also an accomplished men's doubles player Got numerous uh, victories in uh, men's doubles Come on. In the silver, 518. It's gone on as well. Out. Playing with the drift Six, here. 18. It's uh, Colin, and then that means. Um, it's easy to uh, put it long. Oh, he was looking for that one. Lino Munoz, and I think the way he made his presence felt there might have uh, provoked Corlinen to uh, overdo his drop shot a little bit. That's the uh, benefits of. Uh, Moving forward, closing down the net. Sometimes you don't even have to play a return. It's going wide. A little, he little hesitant, the uh, linesman. Eight, nineteen. No challenge from uh, Colgan, and that would also have been in vain. So the silver, 20, game point, 8. Little uh, stick smash there, but we can also see the lift from Munoz way, way too short. Not even close to the first of uh, the two tram lines in the back. So 12 game points for Kolyan and only the one needed. Yeah. Almost perfect game by uh, the Finn and uh, he takes the first game. Good cross defense here. But, um, I'm going to just confirm the score, 21-8. Don't push you. Don't push. Uh, don't push. It's the athletics. Uh, what do you want me to do now? 
That's where it happened um, with the angle of uh, Lino Munoz. Okay. He got a little bit of cool spray on it. Uh, it hurts when you uh, slide forward. You get the uh, the uh, heel cap uh, into your Achilles, and it, it really is um, hurtful. But um, most of the times, luckily. Uh, you're able to play on. Uh, it's normally not as serious as you roll it uh, on Thank the outside. So, uh, second game underway. And of course, then uh, one game up. Very, very dominant in the first game. Let's see if um, Lino Munoz can uh, fight back. That's well played. Good step forward he took there before One. the last shot. Don't call you in. Yeah. screen and we're not really getting any result on the uh, big screens here in the arena here it is yeah it was out challenge unsuccessful one challenge remaining three love play Oh, that's a challenge from uh, Calicolion, and I thought that was going out as well as um, Colion. So, once again, waiting for the uh, Hawkeye decision. Both TV courts here in uh, Wilmer has uh, Hawkeye. The review system installed, and um, that was a correct challenge. It was indeed uh, long. long. No, I don't know, so it was wide right. So, Colin has uh, continued 
here in the second game the way he finished the first. Double silver, two, five. Mistakes creeping in for Kelly Corrigan in as well. That's a little bonus info. I can um, tell you that he's allergic to everything that's got to do with uh, fish. Seven, three. So I'll do the uh, Caesar salad um, before a team match in Denmark and uh, was unaware that uh, the uh, Caesar sauce was uh, containing uh, anchovies and uh, luckily uh, nothing happened but uh, very cautious about uh, not eating anything that's made from or is in fact uh, fish. Good step forward there twice in the uh, front court game. To the match in the first game, Dino Munoz, and um, that, that's not nice when you when you play a first game like that. Then you know that it's it's definitely not going to be an A day. It's hopefully going to be a B day, Four, but um, five, it's also um, other and lower possibilities um, in play. start feeling uncomfortable on court then that's uh, pretty much the worst feeling you can um, you can get and um, Colin hasn't really let him in here in the uh, second game either so actually uh, much more lopsided so far than I would have expected which um, Is due to the fine play by um, Calicolian and oi oi oi, he slipped there. Eleven five in the box. So six points lead for Colunen as we uh, head to the mid game interval here in the second game, eleven five. Niin, ja noin matalaa pitää sille vähän lyhyesti jäädä, että mä saan ne kiinni. Joo, niin, 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 Yes. 
Eleven five. Play. So play has been resumed. Here is um, Cunningham is trying to uh, set the pace. That's a good shot. Excellent. Uh, this guy's drop shot from uh, Kelly Collier in. Look at that. Gets it to stop real short. Everything that's in front of the service line is good. Ah, uh, he overdid it. 30, Well, with the way things have developed here, it's, it's reasonable to think that um, uh, they both knew how things would um, possibly uh, turn out from practice matches in the uh, club just south of um, Copenhagen. Last year's Danish Badminton League. Colunan's perspective, he's uh, taking a big uh, part of uh, self-confidence from this uh, performance here. And he's not um, holding back anything, he's firing on all cylinders, is uh, the Finn. And it's well placed. Good play there by uh, Dino Munoz. Good steep smash, well placed. Oh. But um, Colin says that uh, he can do it even better. Seven. in his uh, follow-ups. Uh, two points away from his first victory at a World Championship tournament. Uh, he probably uh, should have left that one.
Oh, it's a good body smash. Played with a lot of variation, uh, Collion, and also comes with uh, confidence. But there, use the variety of shots that you've got in your arsenal. Now, 12 match points for his first victory. And second round berth. And there it is, first time of asking. Dominant. Uh, Performance by Kali um, Kolyun and a uh, very well deserved uh, win here in the first round. Now he can um, sit back and relax and watch um, Cyprinith play Mark Kaljo and uh, know that he will face the winner of um, that match in the uh, third round on uh, Tuesday. That's fist bump with the uh, long and uh, symmetry in the score line here in uh, the men's single. Kalikolian and uh, the winner 21 8. 21 8. So next match coming up is Salvador uh, Kisuna from Malaysia up against the National League after the highlights. the hometown of um, Carolina Marin is uh, playing host to this year's uh, World Championship in the uh, Sports Palace that uh, was uh, renamed after her. her Olympic uh, gold medal back in uh, 2016. 